Hi guys, Anne from UK Fountain Pens here. I want to spend a few minutes just talking about some pocket pens. Um, for the longest time, the the sport was really the pen that everybody used. This is the uh, the colours not showing up quite right in the video, but this is the uh, Cameco Collection uh, Cyan Sport. Bog standard plastic pen ends up being pretty short in the hand, but stick the cap on the back and you've got something big. Number five size nib. This is what everybody carried, Brass Sport, Owl Sport, all of those different versions. Um, I personally find the standard sport pretty cheap feeling. You can see the casting lines here. There's casting lines along the section. The threads are sharp. It feels a bit cheap. I love the colours, but beyond that, uh, this is certainly not a main part of my collection. I have, however, owned four or so of these, the Art Sport. Now these are turned pens. They have no sharp edges whatsoever. They are beautifully finished. Um, they just feel a, a lot more premium, which they should because they're 150 pounds each rather than the normal 20 quid-ish. You still get all the limitations of the Sport though. Small nib, uh, actually not that small a pen. Um, the new kid on the block a couple of years ago was Ian Sean with the Sean Pocket 6. The reason it being called a Pocket 6 is because it has a number 6 nib. This is a bad example to show you because I fitted it with a Pelican M800 Italic Broad to make some kind of Franken monster. Um, but number 6 size nib, uh, built like a tank, O-rings in the cap. Uh, it is, as you can see, considerably smaller than the Carico Sport and yet turns into quite a nice full-size pen. Um, there are different section options. This is a prototype with a fasted body but straight cap um, in brass. You can get it in aluminium, you can get it in copper, uh, you can get it in all kinds of beautiful finishes. This became my favourite pocket pen for a couple of years for a, very, for a lot of very good reasons. I have two now. I've been through about seven of them. Uh, they, they come in a fabulous range of colours and I love them to bits. The great thing about it is that with that number six Jovo size nib, you can swap in whatever nib you want and you'll get a properly full size writing experience. Now this summer I picked up this, the Enso Puma um, Pocket, and it really blew me away. Um, it's made of titanium. The threads are a little bit picky, which is unfortunate in a pocket pen where you need to unscrew and screw them a lot. But what really stands out is well, it's got a, a Bock number, size, number six size nib. This one is titanium. When you have it turned into a pen, it, uh, into a full size pen, it really does feel full size. This section is much bigger and more generous than almost every pen uh, in my collection. And I, and I like big sections. You know, it's it compares very favorably to this Namiki Yurushi 20. Um, it's a it's a long, beautifully curved section with the threads set very far back. And what that means is in the hand, actually this feels like a big pen. Uh, not even like a pocket pen with the pet with the cap posted, it feels like a proper big pen. Um it's made from titanium, uh the finishing is you know, still the occasional sharp edge on the threads, but really nicely done. The cap inside lip is rounded and it just feels like a very tough piece of gear. It looks like a bullet, it feels like you could fire it like a bullet and it would be fine at the end of it. So I was really impressed by this. You can see it's a little bigger and certainly girthier than the Sean pen, but um, very much a, a, an alternative design. And I like it a lot. Now, this week I received this. This is a prototype of, uh, in the prototype sale from Namisi, the Scottish manufacturer. I've tried and liked several of their pens, not enough to, to keep them, but they're, they're always interesting and doing something different. And the same is true of this. I didn't quite get around to backing the Kickstarter. So this has been, this is not a new design by any means, but it's my first time using it. And you can see it's very much down the Sport kind of model. Very similar size to the Sport. But it's got that long cap design rather than the cap that's uh, you know, nestled um, up to the barrel. And that gives it some interesting proportions when you take the cap off. Um, you end up with something that looks and feels quite like the Sport. Um, decent sized body, small nib, because there isn't um, enough space behind the cap. And it's, for, for my mind, it's just usable because the pen rests there. Um, 
But what it's designed to do is that you post the cap to make a much larger, more full-size pen. It turns the actual body of the pen into kind of like the section behind a barrel step. Um, what's interesting about this pen is a few things. First, these O-rings. Um, as you can see, there's no screw threads as such. You actually uh, get to the section. That, that's screwed on by conventional threads. Um, there's room in here for the Kamiko short converter to fit, which is good. Um, what you uh, have instead is these O-rings which hold the cap on and provide a seal. So three presses and it's, it's seated deeply, I assume, against the lip inside the cap. Um, that provides you with a seal. I'm hoping, I haven't experienced it so far, that pulling that off and breaking that seal doesn't force ink out of the pen. Flip it around and you press past the, the resistance of the cap to get that on. There's a bit of effort involved, but there's no twisting, there's no alignment of threads like on the end. So um, you can, uh, you, know, you know that cap's not coming off either once it's on. Long-term durability, who knows? Um, O-rings are, are made to last, but they're not made to last forever. The second thing that's of interest is this knurling. Um, it's not functional at hit this end. It is functional at this end to remove the, the actual um, pen from inside the barrel. But it gives this sort of industrial feel to it. And that is um, uh, reinforced by this very strong screwed on clip, which reminds me of the kinds of clips you get on, open my drawer here, the, uh, the tactile turn side click here. So you know, two screws, a fully machined standout clip. It is tough. Uh, it's a very functional roll stop and a, appears to be a very functional clip, although I don't tend to clip my pens. This is a titanium in a really dark gray finish. I think it's extremely handsome. Um, the other main option on show is a, a Gravitas style Skittles design, which um, is a bit bright for my liking. Uh, I actually... Uh, this this pen is not the way I would have designed a pocket pen, um, and it, you can see it's totally different to the approach that um, Enso and and Sean take. However, it results in a pen that's quite comfortable, and the smaller bock nib actually writes really really well. Um, it's got this sort of flat ski soap uh, feed. You don't see these nibs around very often. Um, it is a bigger nib than the 060 used on. Uh, the Cavico nibs, I think it's probably the 076, can't remember. Um, given that you could pick this up in the uh, prototype sale for 50 quid, um, which is you know, Al Sports territory, it feels like a really refreshing alternative. Um, and actually, I was very pleasantly surprised when it arrived. So there you go, a quick tour of some of the pocket pen options available to you with a size comparison. Um, on balance, I would say these two kinds of pens are very different to these two kinds of pens. Uh, you can see it in the size, you can see it in the cap proportions. Um, personally, I prefer the Namisu to the Sport. And as as it comes to the, the Sean and the Enso, um, they really feel uh, quite complimentary. So I'm going to avoid passing judgment there. Um, let me know what you think. Cheers.